like to play around with characteristics. And I knew, you know, once I was cast, um, I could take on that challenge. It would be something very rewarding. It would be something very worthwhile. Flying, it, we've had to learn a lot of new ways to do things that is kind of against what we are trained. So uh, we go about 30 feet in the air. I don't fly. I'm actually a light. I'm a fairy light, a glittery fairy light, and then I pop up. I'm so excited to do Peter Pan. It's one of those wonderful ballets that you look forward to doing the whole time you're involved with the arts and it's just one of those special ones that you kind of put to the side and you wait for the right cast. Well, I found the right cast. Artistically, we were very uh, blessed to have artistic director of Vicky's uh, stature and resume. Uh, her creativity and, and not only a choreography, but characters is uh, outstanding. We have a, a wonderful production director, Vito Rhodes, and his crew uh, put on these big shows and what, what uh, Vicky sees in her mind, they put on stage. Lone Star Ballet was incorporated in 1975. And through the years, we've had some incredible people involved with the Lone Star Ballet. Well, I remember uh, at Tascosa, and this was in the 70s, a lot of my friends were in the drama department. And Neil Hess, as one of his plays that year that he did, that he wanted to do a production of The Nutcracker. And that's really how it got started was a production at Tascosa High School. In 1972, Neil Hess sent a note to, the, to my class and said, be, a, be on the stage in five minutes. And uh, you're the mother buffoon. I said, why the mother buffoon? The Lone Star Ballet has come so far with Craig and all the directors and Vicki and all the people that are involved, uh, all the parents that have put in so much time. In the late 70s, we certainly know that Mrs. Harrington got uh, very active in giving to the arts. And Mrs. Harrington had a long history of support for the Lone Star Ballet that began during her lifetime and certainly continued through her gifts through her estate and, and um, even after she was gone, her support continues. Well, I think the kids will really enjoy it, so I hope that it's like a magical experience for them and they just they get to see ballet in a different way. And this is one, one ballet that I feel like everyone will enjoy. If you are young at heart, you will, you'll come and you'll love it. And if you're not young at heart, you need to come on and we'll make you that way. That's what you have to have if you're going to have a great art, is that you have to share it among friends. They're, they're fabulous at what they do, and we're just blessed to have them in our part of the world. And I'm, I'm really proud to say that I'm a part of Lone Star Ballet. Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC7 News.